you about my street I'll tell you about my town It's the kind of place where you wake up laughing One foot on the ground One foot on the ground I'll tell you about the future While I'm showing you the past I'll tell you about the worst of times But I'll save the best for last Save the best for last Standing here There's nothing you could say To take me away from my home All you folks With those wild oats to sow Somewhere to go Now just go on Telling you to go You're going nowhere There's something you should know There's only so much time To stand in line And then we all have to go We all have to go So if you lack direction Keep looking for the signs Some of them are easily seen Some harder by design Harder by design Standing here There's nothing you could say To take me away From my home All you folks With those wild oats to sow Somewhere to go Well just go on Good morning people um, I made this picture yesterday it's a nice sort of classic picture. It's pretty light, which is good. So um, I'm gonna put a handle on it. Um, so where to put the handle is the question. I could have it coming off this upper part of the shoulder, or I actually, I like them lower. I like the leverage of a lower handle on a picture like this. I think design-wise, you know, you see them coming from up here more, but oh, maybe I'll split the difference, I'll have it coming off right at the sort of the point of the shoulder here. So the first thing I'm going to do is sort of pick my spot, put some slip there, and then I'll just score that up a little bit. This is nice, perfectly leather hard for me. That should do the trick. And then I rolled out a tapered coil just a little bit ago on my nice um, table, smooth table, non-absorbent surface. And then I give it, gave it the smack down so it's got a, a flat edge. That's gonna be my top edge. So how much to use of this is my question. I'm gonna just cut it off about right there. And then can support from the inside. This is maybe a little thicker. I can just pull a little more of that off. It's a little thicker than I probably should have gone, but I do like thicker handles these days, so I'm just giving a lot of pressure against the pitcher there. And then I'm going to get my hand wet, and I just kind of roll my thumb around you've seen me do my handle demo on mugs, I just kind of roll a wet thumb around. Just clean that up a little bit while I'm at it. And then I'm going to hold it like this so the handle's hanging, hanging down. Usually when I start pulling, I start with just my index finger and my thumb just to get right up next to that. Make sure it's nice and wet. And I just kind of get my edge good all the way around. And then I switch to my, my just my curved index finger. This is more than I'm going to need, so let's get rid of some of that right away. 
and what I'll do is I'll sort of rotate this form is kind of an oval shape but in an effort to keep my handle symmetrical I'm going to just go back and forth like this again more than I need I probably started a little thicker I'm going to give it a little groove right down the middle I started a little thicker than I needed but that's okay okay that should be pretty good let it curve down and then figure out where I want to attach it I might just get that a little bit wet but okay am I straight I'm pretty straight just gonna stick that on there and smooth it out and then I'm just going to work on my negative space a little bit. For this handle, I think it's going to benefit from a, a little push down that way. I have a really nice negative space and it fits, fits a hand wonderfully. This is a little thicker than I probably would normally put on a, on a pitcher like of this size, but I actually like I like a handle that's a little thicker. It's a little more to grab onto. So, so I'm looking good here. Let me just take my sponge. You can see I was working with red clay. And then as long as I'm at it, I can just clean up my foot a little bit. Okay. Nice handle for that pitcher. Okay, beautiful. <clears throat> 